Visitation for Engel is underway right now in Carthage. The family, too emotional to talk on camera after what they saw and heard in court today. WLWT News 5's Andrew Setters leading the way with the developments in the investigation. We learned a little bit more about the case against these three suspects when they appeared in court here this morning. They were given a bond that makes it very unlikely they'll get out of jail while they await trial. This trio is charged with aggravated murder, aggravated robbery, and tampering with evidence in the death of 73 year old Carl Engel. St. Bernard police say one confessed, one lawyered up, and one denied being involved. In court, the lawyer for Chastity Brewer indicated she was cooperating with police. James Kirby Jr.'s attorney argued there wasn't enough evidence for an arrest. And the third suspect, Mario Lewis, said he was physically incapable of having been involved after being shot months ago. James Kirby Jr. is the key in this case. He allegedly knew Carl Engel, and police say he'd ripped him off in the past. Brewer, his fiance, allegedly acted as the lookout while Kirby and Lewis went into the victim's home. So they decided to come back knowing that he had money to go ahead and break into his residence, which they did from that front basement window, and they were ransacking the house when Mr. Engel came home from being out for the evening. The 73 year old grandfather was beaten to death in his home, the same home he's lived in since 1972. Engel worked for the village of St. Bernard. He was well known in the community, and police are happy to have a quick conclusion to the case. Uh, we've had a lot of folks that have been worried, and there's been an, an outpouring of concern for Carl and his family, so we're glad that we can put closure to this for them and move on. But closure could be difficult. The family released a statement that says, in part, we, the family, support and urge the prosecutor to pursue the death penalty as equal and exact justice to the monsters that committed this horrific crime. The case against them moves forward now. The grand jury will hear the case and come back with their report later this month. From the Hamilton County Justice Center, Andrew Setters, WLWT News 5. Now, we've been in contact with the prosecutor's office, and we are told it's too early to say if the death penalty will be sought in this case. Again, visitation underway right now until 8 at the HODAP funeral home in Carthage.